All right, so it's trail riding season here in the Northwest, and we got a little issue with our uh, trusty uh, XR250. So this is uh, my son and I each ride one of these. Great little woods bikes. And, you know, kind of washing it up, giving it a once over, and noticed a little issue. So if we look here, right down here, you see this little crack where the kickstand mounts to the frame. So today we're gonna to try to fix that. We're gonna uh, see what we can do to make that one piece again. So let me get set up and we'll uh, see what we can do. Okay, so we got the patient knocked out, laying down, just propped up the handlebars on a milk crate there. Um, one thing I like to do whenever you're laying your bike over too is uh, make sure the carburetor is uh, drained as best as possible. I like to just kind of, uh, you know, start it up, idle it, turn the gas off and let it, um, you know, drain itself that way. So anyways, um, we got the patient knocked out, laying down here, and again, we're looking at this crack. And under further inspection, it's clear that it's really more in the, the frame side here than it is in the tab. So... I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to open it up a little bit with a grinder. Just got a regular old uh, four, and a, four and a half inch angle grinder. We're going to open up that crack a little bit before we try to weld it. So let's uh, let's get you set up and see how see how that goes. See what we can find out. Let's take a look, see what we got here. So you can see here the crack definitely goes into the frame of the bike, not into the tab that holds the kickstand. Um, what I'm going to try to do now is uh, get the welder out and we'll see if we can uh, fill that up. The idea is not to blow through the frame of the bike. That's going to be a lot thinner than the, than the tab, but the tab's probably... Yeah, you know, I think that is quarter inch thick or something. I'm sure the frame is very thin. But we'll see what we can do. We're gonna put most of the heat, most of the weld into the the tab side, and just a, just enough into the frame side to get us some good penetration. So let me get the welder out, and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so we got the welder set up. We're running. Uh, just a regular MIG welder here. We're running um, about 16 volts. Uh, I think 160 inches per minute, 035 wire. This is an Argon uh, MIG, MIG wire. Um, you can probably do the same with flux core, just a little messier, and it'll take some uh, extra cleanup. But uh, yeah, let's see what happens. And uh, I'm not sure how much this will show, how much we get blocked by the welder, but we'll, uh, we'll definitely zoom you in here at the end so you can see what it looks like when we're all done. sure how that showed up on the camera but let's uh let's take you in and get a closer look here so again the frame's pretty thin here so I didn't want to put a whole lot of heat into it and we started kind of at the top and worked our way down putting most of the heat into the tab side and you can actually see in the the crack that it wasn't it wasn't the tab that broke or the weld it was where the weld pulled away from the frame so really this is just kind of pulling that weld back into the frame again so I'm gonna uh Probably clean this up a little bit. I'll get a brush and and then we'll probably actually just put a little paint on her and call her good. We'll see how it looks though. 
Hold on. Let's take a look, see what we got. Pretty happy with how that welded. Um, you can see, you know, up here, we got good penetration both sides. Down along this side here, I'm probably, could have been a little hotter into the original weld side, but I think I've definitely got down into the, where the crack was. And then as we move down, definitely got good penetration on both sides. So I'm gonna color good. I mean, it could be better but I think it's better than it was. So I'm gonna put a little paint on it and we will just call it uh, call it good for now and then just kind of keep, keep an eye on it as the riding season goes on. All right, got 50 cans of spray paint out in the shop. Only one I had was uh, that was close was this metallic aluminum color. Um, it's not gonna be perfect, but it'll It'll keep it from rusting. So let's see what we get here. Yeah, well, like I said, that's not perfect. Got some on the chain. That'll make it look like a racing chain. But anyways, we'll let that uh, dry. And uh, I think that'll wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching.